Hey guys, how's it going? My name's always and welcome to Stone Block 3. That's right, it is about time we continued this series. Uh, so we've played through Stone Block 1 and 2 already. This is Stone Block 3. As far as I'm aware, there's no Stone Block 4 yet. Um, there might be someday, but there's there's not currently. Um, so this is the starting area. It is really pretty. Um, we go through the portal to get to actual stone block, uh, but I figure we can walk around here a little bit and talk about things. So we can't break anything here. We're basically in uh, adventure mode, and yeah, there's a lot of new mods in this. Some of them I have played around with in other mod packs, kind of on my own, or uh, even a few on the series. Uh, I believe I see, what is this, Farmer's Delight? Yeah, this is all Farmer's Delight stuff. We played around with that in Universe I.O., which, ugh, disappointment. Um, I have a lot of uh, hope for this mod pack, and it has one of the bigger mods that, surprisingly, I haven't played around with yet. Um, Create. I am very well aware of Create, and I've just not actually done anything with it yet. So, um, I think that is a pretty major part of this uh, mod pack, but... Uh, yeah, there is just this little nice little area to explore and whatnot. Um, this is kind of meant for like servers and whatnot. You then go through the portal to make your world. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Stop wasting time. So the question is, we have different varieties of caves we can uh, do stuff with. And we could do the original, which is going to put us in a hollowed out like sphere and that's tempting, um, but I think I want to change things up. So last mod pack, Stone Block 2, um, I kind of made a goal to make the place look nice. I don't know that I'm going to care too much about that. It was fun to do the building and all that, but I kind of just did it all at the end. I'm going to try a little bit better to make things, make systems look nicer. But I don't know that we're going to do kind of the same level as before in Stone Block 2. So I have to decide which one we want to do. I, I think we're going to do something that's already kind of pre-made. A little bit more space so it's a little bit nicer and so I don't have to dig as much. Um, and I'm thinking um, not the lush, lush house or the lush Minecraft intersection. Be mine shaft, not Minecraft. Wow, um, I don't like greenery in general. I don't, I don't like vines and grass everywhere. So I want something a little bit more cavey. And so the question is, the mine shaft intersection, um, the drippy cave also looks a little bit. I mean, it has some houses. It looks nice. I think we're gonna go for the mine shaft intersection because why not? So it is going to create a new area and it's gonna have a party. Um, so we have a little bit of. We have a little bit of stuff here, um, and I, I actually really like this. It is already kind of designated for three different areas. We can dig, or, or four different inter, uh, areas. We can dig each way. This is basically our main intersection, and you know what? I might eventually make a house here. What is behind that? Smooth stone. Okay. So some of this, and then there is something up there that almost looks like a support or... I don't know what that is, but there is a little bit of wood. We're probably going to try to avoid um, breaking too much of the stuff. I might break that storage container just because meh, um, but it is kind of dark here and we're going to need to, to make that better. So let's look at the quest book. I want to see, do I have, I do have it quick. I have a hotkey for it because ever since I started doing this, it is the best thing ever. Um, so welcome to stone block three introduction so basically um i I've, I've looked a little bit at this stuff i have a little test world that i played around with um first of all this is on the feed the beast launcher which is kind of uh, it's it's kind of terrible because i have to <laughs> I have to install another launcher and i don't want to have more launchers on my on my uh computer so what I actually did was I took, I, I downloaded the mod pack from the Feed the Beast launcher and then put it into Curse. Um, not going to go into the technical details and all that, but there's a button. Um, but yeah, so uh, 
I know a little bit about this and I can explain a little bit of what's going on here. So basically in StoneBlock 2, I don't remember how it was in StoneBlock 1, I'll be honest. I think I think there was a nether portal and an end portal that we had to make. I think we used end cakes to get to the end. I don't remember. It's been a very long time since we played StoneBlock 1. Uh, in StoneBlock 2, you dug up. Uh, and when you reached the top of the bedrock of this world, you got to... Uh, it teleported you to the mining world, which then took you to um, the end above that. There was no nether. Now this one is a little bit different. Um, there is no surface. If we travel from our spawn point, we will eventually come across dungeons, caves, and then there will be rings of the nether, and then a ring of the end. Um, we have their, our own dimension, all that kind of fun stuff. Nothing too major there. Uh, so, starting how to actually start, yeah, create, we, we've done all this. Um, that's what that portal is at the beginning. Um, yeah, the world server spawn is a lobby area. Um, go through the portal in the center and all that kind of stuff. Um, you can go back to the lobby. And I think you might be able to create other things, but I'm not sure. Uh, and then events. So on your journey through Stonebox 3, you will occasionally find random special events happening to you. We don't want to spoil them right away, but they can reach from giving you handy loot to just being funny or mildly enjoying jokes, depending on who you ask. If you want to toggle them off individual events or you want to see a list of all of them, you can use... Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens with that. So, yeah, there is definitely a lot of different things and we're going to get pretty heavy into create which is it, it's gonna be interesting um and then there's storage stuff okay let's just get started so break some stone with your bare hands uh lonely cave with nothing but rocks Ooh, random reward they use the batania um what is it called the dice thing from batania as the like record uh, reward icon uh, so mining stone with your fist will drop stone pebbles, which can be crafted into cobblestone. It can, can be eaten if for whatever reason you want to. All right. So let's just go over here and this is where we're going to start punching stone because that's how you start Minecraft, right? Uh, so this, the first few episodes of this is just going to be us getting things kind of together. Um, start working on getting basic systems up. And there's a zombie on the map and a skeleton. Can they actually spawn in this cave? Are we in danger? Oh, you need to break them with your actual fist. Um. So there is stuff, but it's not there. Okay. So we got that. We get a random reward, which we got an iron reinforced hammer. You know what? I think that's pretty good. Mine's in a 5x5 five five area. Um, we're going to not use that quite yet. So then we need to make a crafting table. Four cobblestone together can make a crafting table. So we're going to need uh, a little bit more stone. Uh, for the most part, I'm going to do 3 by 3s um, for, like, tunneling. But when we want to make a room, we're going to do 5 by 5 potentially. Um, so I will not use that hammer yet. Um, Alright, so there is plenty of cobblestone. And then we can make a crafting table and then we could make a stone chest um, not really too interested in that we got a black lotus that's always nice uh, is there a way to get those in nope of course not black lotuses are amazing and I wish we could have more so stone hammer drops mind blocks um, dropping a more granular block uh, yeah so basically we can make a stone hammer uh, can we use this to make like a pick? No, of course not. So we need stone rods. I'm going to need more <laughs> cobblestone. Okay, you know what? 
let's make a decision. Um, so if we if we go one more, uh, you know what? Let's not. Let's not worry about it. So let's put a cobblestone and let's start mining a bunch of cobblestone because that is a lot easier okay so we should be able to make everything we need now so something like this we need to make a crook and then a hammer and that will give us some stuff so mining certain blocks with a crook will make them drop items like saplings and seeds all right so uh anything in particular it looks like mostly dirt dirt is where we get that stuff from so we need to make dirt how do we get dirt uh we can hammer gravel all right so pedal pocket area all right that's a nice reward um so we can get gravel let's put down that we turn that into gravel we also got a hearthstone which teleports our to teleports us to our personal spawn. That is pretty useful. Uh, let's get rid of some of the stuff up here. And then can we just make a stone chest like this? Nope, that is a furnace. All right, how do we make a stone chest? <laughs> that cobblestone chest, so we need cobblestone parts. And we'll make a cobblestone chest. Perfect, we'll just put this over here for now and dump this stuff in here. All right, so that's gonna give us a random reward, an iron hammer. All right, that sounds like that's more of what I want. So this might end up being a room um, because I like three by three tunnels. It is, it is instilled in me from the Super Hostile series and just in general, all of the uh, CTM maps I've played and it's just like, I, three by three is perfect. Five by five is too big. Uh, so let's see, what else do we need? So we have gravel, we get some compressed gravel, then we can get dirt. Uh, we only got one compressed gravel, that's a bummer. So we get the dirt, and then dirt becomes sand, and sand becomes dust, and then that's it. Um, andesite, if you mine up either up or down far enough, you'll reach a layer of andesite. Beyond that is deep slate, and then there's, and only then is there bedrock. Okay. So, stone layers. All right, there is, oh, there's an exploration tab. Um, so, overall portion of the map is separated into five slices split by Y levels. Center slice is made of stone. So 55 blocks tall above and below y equals zero, which we are at y equals zero. We're at y equals one. Um, so 55 blocks up and 55 blocks down gives us the stone, then andesite, um, 20 blocks, and then 53 blocks of deep slate. So we'll get to those later. Uh, let's get back to getting started. Let's get all of our, come on, high rolls, dang. Dang. And we got 19 dust. Okay, so we got 18 from the reward. That's not terrible. Oh, I guess we got three compressed. I guess it didn't save. So dirt was actually a really good roll. All right, so saplings. You can get saplings from mining dirt with a crook. So let's do exactly that. And... There are saplings. All right, easy enough. We also got some grapes, oh, source berries, not source, not grapes. Vexing archwood. Oh, you guys are spawning up there. That is not good. Um, okay, so let's, uh, let's grow a tree. And we also got some seeds. What kind of seeds did we get? Oh, we got beetroot. Okay. That's actually kind of nice. Um, and then we got a bunch of seeds from that. 
and start dumping things off that we don't immediately need. Um, we don't need that. A loopy has spawned at minus 17. So this is one of those events. So there is a loop B over here at what coordinate? 15, so up a little bit. Oh, okay. Um, you know what, let's, let's go get it. Uh, we can always repair rooms and whatnot. So let's, uh, let's go see what we can find. I like loot. I like getting loot that's going to... Apologies for the darkness, by the way. Um, can't really do much about that right now. Um, but I like getting... Um, please don't be leaving. I'm, I'm trying my best to get up there. Um, I like getting loot ahead of time. What is happening to it? I think it's leaving. Dang, that's a bummer. All right, uh, let's put a block there to block that off, and then we'll do nothing there. All right, so we have a sapling. We're going to get a rail gun. All right, does this have, it does not have any energy, so it's kind of useless. Um, and then we need to get wood. So we can, oh, hey, that also works for, do we have, um, I need to do some things. Uh, all right, let's get a little bit of wood and then we should be able to make uh, a couple tools, namely a pickaxe, a shovel. Let's get all of the basic ones, an axe, and a sword. Because we are probably going to need to defend ourselves. Um, cool. So we have wood. Uh, choice reward. Let's just take oak logs. We got 31. That is pretty good. That was almost max. Uh, and then it's going to want us to do tinker stuff and millstones. So you can get basic resources like iron using a millstone. More advanced resources aren't available until later. Like everything create millstone is powered by rotational force. Likewise, you can hold W while hovering over any create item to see a short animation of how it's... Pondering is really cool. Uh, and so we'll have to have a millstone... That is going to be important. And we're just going to break. I need to take that. Okay, I need. I need to figure out. I need to figure out what that is. Um. I need to disable that. Uh, call for luggage. Ah, okay. Let's just get rid of that. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we can grow more trees. That's not going to be an issue. Uh, we need some torches. Let's get some torches. Because it is super dark everywhere. And so we'll just do... Do one of these. So that'll give us three, and then we can make more. Um, and I need to get up there and light up all of that stuff at some point here in the near future. Um, do we have light level things? Yes, we do. Awesome. So we should have a piece of charcoal, and we can at the very least start putting torches down. So that it's a little bit nicer around here. And eventually I will go up there and light all that up. Um, let's 
same with like all of everything. Uh, everything needs to be lit up. Uh, just so we don't have mobs spawning somewhere we don't want them to be. So we're going to get a bunch of charcoal. Because I can grow so many more trees and I can get infinite dirt. Um, so let's see. It wants, whoops, that happens sometimes. Uh, so the millstone, hand crank, and cogwheel. I'm sorry, why are you up there? Um, because it's favorite entries, not okay, that's fine. Um, <laughs> that's weird. And then Tinker's, uh, part builder and station. Uh, I'm just adding things to basically bookmark them, um, so that we can, oops, uh, so that we can get, you know, easy access to what we have to make for all these quests. So let's see, what is the mob soul? Mob souls have a 20% chance of dropping anytime a mob dies. I, those numbers did not match. Okay. Uh, all right, so let's get some more torches. And let's at least see if we can make the millstone. So the millstone will allow us to do what exactly? We can throw Uh, let's see. Cobblestone. We can throw gravel to get zinc, sand, coal, and iron. Um, okay. So let's make this. We need andesite. Stone. We need andesite. Okay. So I will tell you guys what, um, let's, let's murder some mobs. Creeper, don't, don't you dare. Uh, spider. All right. Can we get a record? Let's try to get a record. Come here, creeper. Shoot the creeper. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> we also got a rare loot crate, which is kind of nice. All right, there's still stuff up there, but let's just uh, put a torch there. And what do we get? A potion jar. Don't know anything about that. Okay. So we have a bunch of cobblestone. We have a good bit of wood and charcoal. Um, so what we're gonna have to do is this. Uh, I need food. I just realized I need food. Um, I mean, I could eat those. We could, we could fix a potato or two but I'd really rather grow them. We do have bones. Uh, carrots are actually pretty good. So let's, let's get some sticks so we can make a hoe so that we can um, put down a carrot. Um, can you not? Okay, just need more light. And then we can grow carrots with bones. We'll get plenty of bones later. And then I'm gonna keep one carrot in here and we're gonna eat carrots <laughs> um, because that makes sense. Uh, that is like going to be one of the better things to do. And so what the plan is is going to be this. I am going to light up up there. Um, that's why I got some carrots. And uh, I'm going to dig. Uh, you know, I think this will be our, we'll have a room in here for stuff. I'll dig this out a little bit and kind of clean up the wall. Uh, I might actually use this to get back up there. Um, but I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick a path 
and we're going to have a downward staircase um, to both the andesite layer and the deep slate layer. And uh, next time we're going to start working with, well, create. We're going to make things. We're going to try to get some water. Um, that should not be too difficult, but we're going to we're gonna start working with Create and hopefully we'll be able to uh, get a little bit of work done here so that we can actually, you know, thrive. Um, so I'm gonna need a couple of rooms eventually with like um, machines. We're gonna need machine room. We're gonna need a Create area. We're going to need a farm. Um, we're gonna probably need mob farms all that fun stuff so we'll we'll get there but for now that is going to be all for today's episode i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys in the next one bye